To get the 360 image to navigate with the mouse or the headset head movements, we're going to use A-Frame. So it's free and open source. It's driven by the Mozilla Foundation. It's very widely used. It's also very easy to use and it's a nice way to go from uh, mouse movements to a headset if that's what you're looking for eventually. It's also used by a number of big companies, Disney, Ford, Google, and now you. So let's get it in. Let's click on, go to aframe.io, click on get started. Boom. We'll grab the first script tag here. That's the one that will get a frame into the details page. Let's go here, go to the details. It's a template that you just created. We'll drop it in right at the end of the body tag. Right now, let's go to where the image is. You can go image source and find it. It's right below the heading. So we're gonna create an A-frame scene. And let's make the scene embedded. So that it works within a web page. A-frame is more geared toward a headset, but since it's easy to use, we're gonna use it for the, the web page itself. So uh, there's a A-frame specific tag, a scene, the A-frame scene. Uh, we're gonna make it a certain size. So let's scroll back up to uh, we, we can just put the style in here. So we're gonna control the height of the image so it doesn't, also it's scrunched, it's scrunched down a bit um, to 600 pixels. We can adjust this later. We just wanna see whether it works. To actually get it to display, we're gonna to have to change the image to a sky. We're, we're using it like a, a sky box here. Okay, let's see whether it works. And it works. Well, it kind of works because it's full screen and I want to put some text below it. So let's check out what happened. Aha, I spelled embedded wrong. Okay, I'm running into a bit of a problem because the image is actually not appearing and I decided to leave this in to help with the debugging. So the you can access the developer tools within Chrome if you go to more tools and then there's developer tools here. So again, more tools, developer tools. And when I tried to load it, it says it's a very helpful error message about putting the A-frame script tag in the head of the HTML before the scene. Aha.
Okay, now it works as expected. This uh, is 600 pixels high right now. And you can navigate it with the mouse. If you click on this icon, it'll become full scene. Press escape button, goes down. If it's a more narrow, the scene should be responsive. By that I mean the, the height, we locked it at 600 pixels, um, but the, the width, it still will fit within the browser. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So in the next video, we'll take this details page and we'll adjust the HTML and we'll pull it because we're already getting the the object data image so we can easily just add the the title here and some summary data okay